Here's an easy scalping strategy that you could have used today to trade the ES. Now, I'm using a 2000 tick chart. That's what I like to scalp. But this works on a one minute chart, two minute chart. If you like trading time frame charts more than uh, tick charts, it works great on those. So let's take a look here. So basically what we had was a range day when we started off. You can see the top of the range, bottom of the range. And we were in there and then we kind of turned into an uptrend later on. And you can see here, this uptrend looks like, uh, let's actually see what it does here. Let's see if it taps the level because it's been kind of a questionable uptrend. It's kind of been grinding near the bottom of the trend channel and needed to move a few times. So let's see. See if this trend line holds where we're gonna bounce off the EMA here. But if this trend line holds, there actually might be a setup here. So we're just gonna see. We'll let that play out for a second. <clears throat> but I figure eh, maybe we'll maybe we'll just kind of monitor. The volume is pretty low. You can see the ATR here is below a two. When that happens, the 21 period ATR dropping that low, it just means volatility is low. There's not a lot of possibilities. If we get a good enough trade set up here, I'll take it on just like a lower amount of contracts. And we'll just kind of see. So there's a, well, now we actually have a first entry here. So let's see. What I'd want to see here is a second entry long, second entry setup where we're above the EMA and staying within the trend line. If we break below the trend line, then I'm not going to take it just because. This trend line has possibly already broken over here and made a new high. I actually redrew it later on. Um, yeah, so we're going to let, we'll let that one play out because I actually had this bigger trend line originally that was kind of like this. And I think I drew it through there like that. And the problem was it kind of broke here. So then I just dragged it down very slightly to kind of fit the, that close. And I thought that was still fine. And then it did close out here. So then I was like, oh, maybe it's a little lower. And I dragged it down again. But then it starts to not really fit that touch. It still fits here. But then it clearly breaks there and makes a new high. So if it's the case that that trend line was valid, it did break there and play out. And so this secondary one that I drew from right here, it's very possible that this is not the real trend line and that this one has already played out. So let's see what we get here. So you can see here, we made a high, get a first entry short, but now it's closing below the EMA. And that is definitely going to, yeah, so that's going down. So that's just a lower high. Yeah, so this has played out. Um, this has definitely played out. So that is the more correct trend line. This one is not the correct trend line. And so uh, my original trend line was the right one. And that ten you tend to see that sometimes. It's worth drawing a secondary trend line just in case the trend stays bullish. Um, so we could actually mark this one as a possible short. Now, again, because you're looking at this as a break, it goes up, makes one leg, pulls back, second leg to a new high, and then you get a lower high. I'm just going to mark it green, though, because it is still above this EMA. You know, it could bounce again and try to make one more leg. Sometimes that'll happen. And you might even see here where it could end up uh, going up a little bit. All right, so you can see here there's now a new downtrend working, so it looks like this thing is losing some steam. It is possible. You, I wasn't planning to go through uh, some of the live price action, but, you know, why not? So you can kind of see here there is a first entry there, which is just the lower high. Now you could end up getting a second entry here. Now there was still this range that we, never, that we broke out of before. I'll keep that on the chart just in case. And you can see here... This is a break, move to a new high, and now we have a downtrend. So this could just be a giant range day. And we could easily come down, get back into the range and go lower. It's just hard to say for right now what this is going to do. But you can see there the first entry, probably going to get a second entry long here that is likely going to fail with a trend like this because it still needs to make a new low. So we'll see what it does. But while that's playing out, we'll go and look at some of these trades because you could have been done really early today. Basically, after, you know, you had this move down, unfortunately, there's no way to get this failed breakout because it's within this downtrend. So you can't really do anything here. But you have an uptrend, you have a close outside, and then it makes a new high and 
gives you this perfect short setup and it's a second entry short. So you can see first attempt lower, second attempt lower. At the time, this was basically, this is the midline of the range, but at the time this would have been one of your range highs. So it's kind of like a triple test off that level. Second entry short, really bearish candle, failed breakout, just an easy trade all around. And you could have rode that thing all the way down until you got a break outside of the trend, which is right here. And even there, you could have just put your order one, like you could have just had your stop one tick above this in case it broke higher. It ends up not breaking higher. It actually goes lower and you could have even just moved your stop down and just trailed it, got out somewhere and maybe on this green candle. Then you get a nice higher low here. So this channel has now played out because you have a close outside and a new low, and then you get a higher low here. And that is basically like a triple test. You know, you've tested this level here, here, here. It's kind of like a higher low on a triple test. Um, nice, easy trade to get back into the range. Then we come over and we do get this trade here where you get a double top. So this closes outside, makes a new high, start a downtrend. You get a close outside and then you get this really bearish candle and you're expecting a new low here. Now it ends up just getting flat right here. And now you have a one, two, triple test. Then it breaks lower here. So it makes the new low on this downtrend, right? That's what we're looking for. Downtrend is played out and you get a bullish candle, failed breakout, close back in. And you could take that one. And that was a nice trade too. The only problem with this one, and I did take it, is that basically it came all the way back down. And it's because you're entering on congestion here. And you, so you had to know this is risky because sure, you could argue that there's a first entry. The second entry long is here and it failed. And so that's the problem. It's a failed, there's a failed second entry long there. It gets really sideways here. You got a doji. So when it starts stacking up like this, you know that you could be entering into congestion. So it's a risky one. It's aggressive, but I took it with a lower contract size and it ended up working out, but I had to sit sideways and it almost stopped me out on this candle because I had my stop loss, of course, one tick below the signal bar. It ends up taking off. Then you get a close outside and a new high. And this is another repeat pattern basically of this one. So at the time I was, I was thinking this might actually run all the way down just like it did over here because it's basically the same pattern. It's, it's a second entry short. So it's the same thing. You get this double bottom. So it's a first entry, second entry short, new high played out the uptrend, but it ends up just coming down to the EMA. And then that's when you kind of turn into a range. Now I did mark these arrows as just areas I wanted to talk about. By the way, let's go check on our, our move over here and then we'll talk about those. So you can see here, this is where the second entry played out and it did fail, like I said, it probably would. So it, it may, tried to make a new, tried to go up and it immediately failed and reversed. You couldn't really take that trade though because you already have your close outside and new low kind of all happening right there. So this thing could be running out of steam, this little downtrend. Um, you can kind of see even if you move this over because it does still fit, it's still a close outside and a new low. So you don't really have, the downtrend here is already played out. And so now this thing could reverse, it could end up coming back to here and just kind of go higher. It's hard to say. Um, all right, let's take a look over here. So what we have here is uh, we had this like little range working. Now, what I was thinking at the time was sometimes you get two legs. So when you make a new high after an uptrend, sometimes you get a second leg to a new high. And that's, this is right here, the pullback, the second leg up. So I was hoping that we'd get a really bearish candle right here, but it just was a doji because I was going to short this as like, all right, now we got our two legs up and it's a failed breakout, but it ended up not giving us bearish enough candle. It just turned into a do kind of a doji sideways action. You can't take a trade there. So then I was thinking, okay, well, maybe we get a lower high and then that would be a really nice setup. And I was, but then it, the lower high came as a doji. So you couldn't take it. If this was more bearish, I would have said, take the lower high because you can see it did work out and it did do what I thought it was going to do, but you don't want to enter on a doji because you could get stuck in congestion. So then it, it goes up into this uptrend. We get a close outside and this makes like a couple legs up to a new high. And I was thinking right here, hey, we made a new high. Um, maybe we get a lower high and it ends up not really happening here. Um, oops, I don't know why that's that was out of balance. I thought we were going to get a lower high here. That would be really nice, but it ends up just being a kind of a bullish lower high. So you can't take that one either. And then of course I'm thinking, all right, we come back and we could get a failed break. We could get a breakout pullback. 
because I was thinking this would be a failed breakout lower high from the range, come back at least to the range. So then when we did come back, I was thinking, okay, well, now we have this high. We have a first entry, possible second entry above this candle. If we get a bullish candle here, it could be kind of like a breakout pullback long to continue with the uptrend. But what ends up happening is it just gives you a doji again. So you can't take it. Even though they all played out the way that I thought and the price action did work, you can't take entries on bad signal bars. Um, so then you come over here, you kind of get a triple top. And so from this triple top, you actually get a pullback, a first entry long pullback. And when this candle breaks above this red one, it is a um, second entry long. And so with a candle like this, what you do is you enter it when you have a fully solid candle and it engulfs it, you can enter on the engulfing bar here, have your stop order one tick above this, and you're just looking to maybe ride it to a new high, which is exactly what it did, and that would have been a nice little scalp. So I'll just leave that line there just so you can see that. Okay, so nothing really up here. Um, and let's see what's happening on our downtrend over here. Nothing really, it did play out. You got the close outside, new low, pull back, second leg down to a new low. So now this is where it becomes a possibility that we get a reversal and it tries to go back up or it consolidates and goes sideways because now we did have our close outside and our new low and a second leg down. So the possibilities here and the way that we would evaluate this is we would start to consider, okay, there could be a possible spike in channel, right? There could be a possible spike and then a flatter channel. That's a possibility. Um, it could also just go sideways and turn into a little range, or we could see a reversal, but we wouldn't be, we're not looking to long this right now. We're waiting to see what it does because it still probably wants to come back and test the range here. That's what it's looking like it's going to do. I'm not going to stay on and just watch this whole thing play out because honestly, these ticks are printing really slow. The volatility is relatively low. So I wouldn't be surprised if this thing just goes sideways a bit. Um, but yeah, so there's, there's not a, a a tremendous amount of setups today, but the ones that came were really nice. And that first trade of the day was really all you needed today. I mean, you if you if you caught this trade right here and you just wrote it down, you would have got in basically like right around there. I mean, you could have probably easily gotten 10 points out of this, and that's really a, a solid trade. That's all you need. You would have been done. You could have went and done your thing. I stuck around, of course, because I wanted to see if there was more setups, and I did get some more setups, so it was definitely worth it. Um, but it's been pretty boring ever since this last short. It's been relatively boring. There's only these couple of trades here. So uh, I'm going to wrap it up and I'll be back tomorrow and I'll see you then.